Hey, performance reviews where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. Today we have a Sonic Clean canister which comes from Germany. They are the exclusive distributor for this vacuum in this country. I've dunked on Sonic Clean before for their upright in the past on my vacuum cleaner tier list, as you all know, but they decided to send this to me anyways, so big thank you to them for sending me this for a review. So let's go ahead and unbox it, and if you're new to the channel, I usually do more in an unboxing than what most do in a review. So right away we're greeted with a hose. Oh, this is really interesting. So the hose is tapered quite a bit. Looking for markings on the hose. There's a quick disconnect here. Nice soft rubber grip. Man, I really want to know if this is a Plastiflex hose or if this is a Visselwork hose, or maybe they make their own. Yeah, this pops off right here. I don't see any markings whatsoever, unfortunately. So that is going to be an unknown. So we've got a hose <laughs> right away. One of my favorite tools, which is a Visselwork. RD-285, go check out my review. I have a whole video on this tool. Now this one's curious because it has a button lock and a parking position. And I'm curious if this button lock and parking are interchangeable with any other vacuum cleaner. And it's not a carbon fiber look, it's just their logo with hexagonal. As far as accessories go, uh, we have the Eureka style accessory holder. Not a huge fan of those. We have, gosh, that is a really small crevice tool. Decent upholstery brush and a pretty small dusting brush. I mean, this, again, very, very small. I know I have big man hands, but that is really small. And let me compare that to something. So this is the Milo dusting brush that's criticized for being small. This is what they gave us to give you an idea, a difference. We get a manual. That is a nice wand. This is like powder coated steel, it feels like. Uh, decent length, it's about a meter long. We have a plastic tip with a button lock on each side. All right, we got some cardboard, some bubble wrap. We have the machine right here. And let's just take the machine right out and take a look at it. It's a handsome looking machine. All right, here's everything I got in the box. A manual, the canister vacuum itself, a hose, a crevice tool, dusting brush, upholstery tool, a tool holder, a floor tool, and a telescoping wand. Looks like we have a speed control here, on off, cord rewind, parking position. We have a HEPA filter right here. Let's take this off. Legally required in Europe. We have a nice, like, this feels like a volume knob on a stereo system right here for the suction control on off cord rewind the cord oh, the cord has a nice rubber bumper that is good with the cord rewind because that helps this last longer on the bottom side that's curious we have these are rubber and two casters um man it's really long the wheelbase on this for what this is Made in Germany. Let's see what's inside the body of the canister. Oh, that's odd. Okay, so this clamshell's apart like the old Sanyols. Oh, man, that's interesting. You have a, there is a lock and an unlock. So we unlock that. We pull the bag out and it's got a sealing tab. Man, this is a thick bag. This is like Mila thick, this bag. So that is really thick. 
Now, I am gonna have a link to these bags and this machine down below that benefits the channel. So if you wanna pick one of these up and the bags, here we go. Let's put the bag in. I'm curious if you can put it in wrong. All right, so yeah, you can put the bag in upside down if you want. I actually think I just put it in right, actually. So it comes from the factory, the bag like this. You know, this is gonna fill up any which way you put this, so it doesn't really matter. What is nice, what I do like about the bags is they have a clear label of instruction on how to change them on that. That's really nice, especially if you have somebody using the vacuum cleaner who was not maybe the original purchaser. And then that just all seals up there. And then your filter, two tabs here. It just filters right back here. Really, really cool. Easy to maintain. These do not come with the vacuum, but can be purchased on their website as well. I'll try and have a link below to this. Now this box here that I'm about to open can only be described as a care package with love from Visselwork. Let's open it up. So the first thing we see in here is the premium Visselwork horsehair dusting brush. Well, that takes care of my complaint of the original dusting brush. Plastic bag. We have here another favorite of mine. It's, it's so funny to see this stuff come as an accessory pack because I, I have personally had to track down all these parts from different vendors before. Uh, but here is a Visawork crevice tool, nice long crevice tool. And they have also given us ha, a Sonic Clean branded PT-160. We have a Visselwork tool for cutting hair, cut hair off a roller. They have given me a bill of loading. They gave us a nice accessory bag and one other thing. There's one more thing. A TK286 nozzle with a parking spot. So they have given us all the accessories I would normally suggest for this vacuum with this vacuum cleaner as one package deal. So that, again, give them props for at least giving us good accessories as an option. This stuff is all branded from them, but as I said before, this is all this work stuff and can be found independently of their website. Again, I'll try and link all this stuff down below. Now you might have noticed my voice has changed. We've put the studio microphone on I want you to hear the real sound of the machine from about a meter away, maybe a meter and a half right now. Man, that's pleasantly quiet. Let's see how many inches of working vacuum. 35 inches of working vacuum and 60 inches sealed. There does appear to be a relief valve opening up, so this might not be the most accurate numbers. Keep in mind, we're also a mile above sea level, which also affects performance. So as an unintended consequence, they're using the same parking system that their German competitors, Mila, use, the same fitting, which means all those Mila fanboys who wanted one of these that locked into place and use the parking system, <laughs> you now have an RD-285 that will fit a Mila. So thank you, Sonic Clean, for bringing that to the US market. You're gonna see a rise in sales of those alone. Hey folks, I have to apologize. The audio got lost in this next clip. I will redo this for the review, but for the unboxing, you can see that it picks up on hard floor very well. It's right up there with any of the other canisters I've tested. Again, this is an unboxing, not a full review. In the full review, we will do a proper pickup test on soft carpet and see how this does. 
but on this extremely low pile wool carpet, it did really well. And of course, the TK286 does fantastic. Well, I want to thank you for watching our unboxing video on the Sonic Clean. I have links below that benefit the channel if you wish to purchase one of these. So what are my final thoughts on the Mila that we have at home? Which I think is a meme that best describes this machine. I think if this machine were to come with the additional accessories for the MSRP, this would be a very appealing package. I also think because you need to buy those accessories separately, and it comes with pretty lackluster accessories and no onboard storage at this price point, that it's kind of a conditional buy. However, it is a good machine in general. It has everything I expect from a European canister with no real surprises. I really wish we had more vacuums like this on the US market, high quality and compact. And I really appreciate Sonic Clean not only sending this to me, but just having this thing exist in general. We need more compact canisters on the US market. So I'm really glad to see a little bit of European class making its way over here. I think though, if you had thick wall-to-wall -wall carpet, this would of course not be the vacuum for you. There's no electric power head. I would love to see a model in the future with an electric power head. So check out the links below. There's also a link to our Patreon if you want to see exclusive content and stuff that we don't put on YouTube. Go give us a follow on Twitter. That helps us out a whole lot as well. Share, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and have yourself a wonderful day.